The crowd's attention was captivated by the surprise delivery of a certain elephant in the park, marking the birth of a new member that astounded everyone. Several years ago, an extraordinary incident unfolded in the wildlife of Africa. This remarkable event took place in Ambasili National Park, an expansive territory in southern Kenya. Across the grassy landscape, a diverse array of wild animals thrives. Spotted cheetahs utilize the space to stretch their legs, while striped zebras wander freely to their heart's content. Towering giraffes, whose impressive height rivals the native trees, add to the captivating scenery. However, the park's most renowned inhabitants are the elephants that roam freely across the land. This site has become a popular attraction for tourists seeking the opportunity to get up close with these majestic creatures. Currently, there are nearly 2,000 elephants that roam within the park. While the world is teeming with countless organisms, African elephants are claimed to be the largest land animals. Their size is not their only distinctive feature, they possess remarkable physical attributes such as strength and endurance. Nevertheless, their impressive physique comes with a downside. These elephants require substantial food to maintain weight, and their incredible appetites demand constant feeding throughout the day. Another remarkable aspect of these creatures is their exceptionally long gestation period, surpassing that of any other living animal. While human women typically carry their child for 9 months, elephant cows can endure a pregnancy of up to 22 months. Scientists explain that this extended duration is crucial for the healthy development of their brains and the size of their limbs. Elephant fetuses require even more time to reach full maturity. Within Ambasili National Park, there lived a pregnant elephant who captured the attention of the park workers. Her name was Peru, and she was already a seasoned mother. Several years prior, Peru had given birth to a calf who had grown into a robust and thriving individual. The bond between Peru and her calf was particularly strong, as the young one happened to be a female among elephant communities. Female elephants exhibit remarkable loyalty to one another. In contrast, male elephants are generally content with solitary lives, often wandering alone for most of their existence. Female elephants, however, possess an inherent need for socialization and bonding with their family members. Female calves, in particular, spend a significant portion of their lives in the company of their mothers. More so than any other wild animal, these female elephants can maintain strong bonds for several decades, forging lasting connections within their closely knit society. Nora Nijirani, a dedicated member of the Ambasili Trust for Elephants, was approached to shed light on the behavior of African elephants in the park. She explained their family dynamics, a family unit among elephants consists of cousins, grandmothers, and sisters who remain together for their entire lives. The oldest female assumes the role of the leader, and interestingly, there is no father figure within the family. Elephants are highly intelligent creatures, and their complex emotions have captivated the attention of animal researchers. They are among the few species in the animal kingdom known to mourn their deceased and exhibit distinct ways of expressing joy and happiness. However, one of their more remarkable characteristics is their unwavering love for their family members, particularly the profound bond between a mother and her offspring. Peru and her daughter shared an inseparable bond from the moment of birth. The affectionate, gentle-natured calf would always stay close to her mother, never venturing too far. While such behavior is common among elephants, there is an undeniable uniqueness in the connection between these two individuals. As time passed, Peru became pregnant once again, bringing joy not only to the park workers but also to wildlife conservationists. The anticipation of a new addition to the family stirred excitement and a sense of hope for the future of these magnificent creatures. It appeared that Peru was on track to have another successful and trouble-free delivery, bringing hope for her and the overall African elephant population. Throughout Peru's pregnancy, her devoted daughter remained faithfully by her side. It appeared as if the young elephant eagerly awaited the arrival of her new sibling. On the long-anticipated day, Pera's daughter observed with keen interest, her curiosity reaching its peak. Park workers were on the scene, ready to assist the pregnant elephant in any necessary way. Initially, Para was slightly overdue, but the workers maintained optimism about the outcome. As time passed, a sense of concern began to creep in among some of the workers. They couldn't ignore the fact that Para's swollen belly seemed more pronounced than in her previous pregnancy, 
raising worries that something might be amiss. Nevertheless, the 39-year-old mother elephant, Hera, exuded a calm demeanor, entirely prepared to embrace the arrival of her new offspring. The duration of a baby elephant's birth can vary, ranging from a few hours to a few days, depending on various factors. Remarkably, Hera required only a single day to complete the birthing process. Word spread throughout the park that the pregnant elephant had finally given birth, filling the air with excitement and joy. However, this was no ordinary pregnancy. To the astonishment of the workers, Hera delivered something unprecedented in 40 years. In March 2018, she gave birth to twins, a male and a female calf. Witnessing the mother elephant with her newborn twins left everyone in awe. It had been four decades since the last occurrence of twin births in Amboseli National Park, and it was the only recorded instance of twins in the park's history. The matriarch at that time bore the name Estella, and her miraculous offspring, born during the summer, were bestowed with the names Equinox and Eclipse. While twins are already a rarity among humans, according to the Kenya Wildlife Service, they are even more exceptional for elephants. Considering the declining population of African elephants in the wild, the prospect of mothers producing multiple offspring is undeniably heartening. However, conservationists remain mindful that the survival rate for siblings born simultaneously is typically quite low. Shortly after their birth, the twin calves seamlessly integrated into an existing elephant herd of approximately 40 individuals. Like their older sister, these twins formed an inseparable bond with their mother. However, if the young twins happened to stray a bit farther from Para, their older sibling would dutifully accompany and watch over them. Many observers noted that Para's first daughter had assumed a maternal role. Whenever their mother would venture across the land to graze, the twins would huddle together, seeking comfort and closeness. Whenever Para created some physical distance between herself and her offspring, the twins would gravitate towards each other, reinforcing their sibling bond. Numerous moments witnessed the energetic young ones engaging in playful activities while their older sister patiently observed their antics. You can see they're moving together in three, remarked Kenneth O. L. Nashu, the senior warden of Amboseli National Park, who, like others, was assigned the particular task of protecting Para and her family. Many park workers have observed Para's journey from a young elephant to the mature and nurturing mother she is today. It seems that her innate purpose was destined to be a mother. Fortunately, Para has enjoyed good health throughout both pregnancies, and no complications have arisen. It is as if she has always been surrounded by good fortune. The zest for life displayed by Para's calves resonates with park visitors and those who have come across their heartwarming stories through social media. We can only wish these remarkable elephant calves a promising and prosperous future. Then is today's second story. Let's begin. This snow leopard should stay by the side of a dog, as clever as a kitten. What happened? You know, the relationship between these two animals is predator and prey. But why can this snow leopard live in harmony with dogs? Is there any unknown secret behind this? Let's take a look at it together. In the natural state, animals with congenital disabilities can hardly survive, especially in the wild. Mothers of big cats such as lions, tigers and leopards will give up their disabled or unhealthy cubs. Many people find it difficult to understand why animals give up their children so cruelly. In fact, this behavior of animals may be to better continue high-quality genes. If their babies are sick or unsound, under the competition of the law of the jungle in nature, helpless mothers will probably reluctantly give up them. In foreign countries, a young snow leopard has deformed its front legs due to natural defects. This disease makes its legs and feet very ineffective, and it is difficult to walk normally. Because of this, it is instinctively thought by the snow leopard mother that it is incompetent for challenging wildlife, so it was brutally thrown into the wild by its mother when it was born. In this case, the young snow leopard faces only death. Fortunately, the poor little snow leopard happened to meet the patrol members who were working in the field. After rescuers rescued him, they named it Luga. Because Luga had no family or companions, the staff found a dog named Garfield in order not to let it grow up alone. Garfield had just given birth to a cub, and the staff hoped Garfield could take care of Luga. They persuaded Garfield's owner to let Garfield raise Luga, a little snow leopard. As soon as Garfield saw Luga, 
it touched the little snow leopard with his warm body language. It kept kissing and hugging the little snow leopard to express its love for Luga. Enthusiastic Garfield warms lonely Luga with its love. Luga quickly adapts to the new life and new environment, and smoothly integrates into the dog family. It has also become good friends with Garfield's children, who play and live together under the careful care of rescuers every day. Garfield takes good care of Luga. No matter what is delicious or fun, it will always think of Luga at the first time and give it priority. In this way, under Garfield's care, Luga grew up healthily and happily. However, the good times didn't last long. Garfield's master had to leave for a period of time because of his work, and Garfield and his children also needed to leave with his master. After the Garfield family left, Luga missed them all the time, and it was very uncomfortable when it was lonely. It circled the park every day, trying to find the Garfield family. After a period of time, the Garfield family and its owner came back, and Luga had grown up a lot at this time. Everyone was not sure whether they could still recognize each other, but the warm facts proved that the relationship between Garfield and Luga transcended everything. As soon as Garfield appeared, Luga immediately ran towards it and fell into Garfield's arms, as if telling his grievances. The two animals kissed and bit together, which may be the way they expressed their thoughts. Because dogs grow much faster than snow leopards, Garfield's children are much bigger, much bigger than Luga. Puppies even start to take care of Luga as their own children like mothers. They can see Garfield's family taking care of Luga gently at any time. This picture is really loving. At this time, they are no longer childhood playmates, but real family members. In fact, it is not uncommon to live in a different population like Luga, but it is a bit unusual for a golden retriever to bring a far eastern leopard cub. Because this species is extremely endangered, only 19 to 26 far eastern leopards live in the wild in Russia. In a zoo called Vladivostok in Vladivostok, Russia, a far eastern leopard baby was born, but unlike other leopard babies, it failed to grow up under the care of its mother, because its mother's postpartum emotional regulation problem could not be solved, which threatened her three babies one after another. The zoo decided to separate the mother and son for the safety of the newborn baby, but it was difficult for such a small far eastern leopard to survive without the care of its mother, so the zoo staff thought of a case of cross foster care, which might be used to keep the cub alive. After thousands of choices from the staff, Tessa, a dog mother who had just given birth, stood out and successfully became the foster mother of the Far Eastern Leopard baby. At first, the staff were still worried about whether Tessa could accept this baby Far Eastern Leopard, which is completely different from herself. After all, Tessa still needs to raise four cubs of her own. If she adds a strange cub, it is very likely that Tessa will be overwhelmed. But to everyone's surprise, Tessa not only didn't dislike the baby leopard, but even completely accepted the baby leopard. Tessa, a great and selfless dog mother, gave her maternal love to the cub who was born without a mother. Perhaps aware of the difference between the Far Eastern Leopard baby and itself, Tessa, the new adoptive mother, is particularly attentive to this special baby, and is the first to feed it when feeding, so she is more careful than her own mother. Of course, the dog babies are also very unconvinced, and they are about to squeeze forward to grab milk, as if to say, Mom, why are you like this? We are your own sons. We are also hungry. Whenever this happens, Tessa will gently lick the crying puppies with her tongue, as if to appease them. Children are good, let the leopard brother eat first, it is too poor. After waiting for the far eastern leopard cub to eat and drink enough, Tessa did not forget to help the cub massage his abdomen intimately, so as to promote its digestion and excretion. The little baby naturally feels the full love of his adoptive mother. Every time he eats milk, he will be shuffled when couples spend time around his adoptive mother and play for a while. This kind of interaction is also super loving. Of course, the zookeepers also worked hard with Tessa to raise this far eastern leopard cub. When Tessa was busy taking care of her cub, they would feed her special formula milk. Because of glucose and other nutritious additives, the cub doubled its weight and length in just three weeks, and slowly began to try to add rabbit meat and other complementary foods to it. Under the careful care of Tessa and the breeders, this far eastern leopard baby has become a healthy and strong leopard, but as an adult, it has not forgotten the kindness of its adoptive mother. Whenever it sees Tessa, 
it always interacts with it very excitedly, and never does anything to harm Tessa. Tessa still loves this child, who is much older than itself, and lets it play coquetry and roll around her. Such a loving picture moves countless people, and no one can think that different species can have such close feelings. In fact, even if animals cross species, there will be sincere emotions, and these emotions are often more precious, rare and unbreakable. Therefore, we human beings should know how to protect these animals and respect and cherish their lives and emotions. I hope that in the days to come, human beings can establish friendly relations with animals and live in harmony on this beautiful planet. Next is our third story, let's expect what will happen. Dogs are friends of human beings. If the relationship between man and dog is better than that between man and other animals, I believe few people will object. As the saying goes, children don't think their mothers are ugly, and dogs don't think their families are poor. Although dogs are carnivores, if their owners live in poverty and have nothing to feed them, they will not leave their owners, which shows their loyalty and unchanging heart to their owners. Most importantly, their existence is sometimes more than just accompanying their owners. In some dangerous moments, they can even use their unique sixth sense to save people's lives. In the picture, this rhubarb dog was lying quietly in the sun, but suddenly he didn't know what happened. He bit the hostess's skirt like crazy, and the hostess not only didn't scold it, but also praised it. What happened? This afternoon, when the hostess had nothing to do, she sat under the tree and basked in the sun. She bowed her head and played with her mobile phone, while the docile and obedient rhubarb dog stood by quietly, looking like a quiet time. Suddenly, rhubarb dog suddenly screamed, as if he felt that something unusual was going to happen, so he began to walk to the hostess and barked twice in a row. But standing in the hostess's perspective, there was nothing unusual at this time, so the hostess was disgusted with the dog's sudden disturbance, and even couldn't help complaining about it. Who knows, rhubarb dog not only didn't listen to advice, but continued to approach a few steps. He looked up at his master, and his eyes seemed to be with a trace of anxiety. Suddenly, he had a flash of inspiration, bowed his head and bit the hostess's skirt, and began to drag the hostess back, as if he had tried to suck. The hostess was afraid that the dog would bite her skirt, so she got up quickly. The dog stepped back and let go of her mouth. The hostess scolded a few words angrily, and then sat back. I saw the hostess still sitting in the original position and continuing to play with her mobile phone. Rhubarb dog saw the hostess sitting there again, so she bit the hostess's skirt again, this time harder than last time. The hostess was very angry. Rhubarb dog's strength was very great this time, which made the woman unable to get rid of it. She grabbed her skirt in anger and followed the dog forward a few steps. Finally, the dog opened his mouth and let go of the woman. Just as the hostess was about to scold rhubarb dog, there was a loud noise behind her. She immediately turned and looked at it, and found that a big branch had fallen from the tree where she had just sat, and the place where she had fallen was exactly the place where the hostess had just sat. The hostess looked up and saw that a big branch suddenly fell from a big tree more than 10 meters high, and suddenly she felt cold behind her. Rhubarb dog wanted to go forward to check the situation and was quickly dragged back by the hostess. The hostess touched rhubarb dog's head and seemed to apologize for her attitude just now. Then she quickly called her husband and told him about the dangerous scene that happened just now. Between the lines, she all revealed her pride in rhubarb dog, and even told her husband that she should remember to buy more meat tonight and make up for rhubarb dog. This clever dog is really too human. It has repeatedly gone to rescue its master regardless of its own safety. If you raise such a dog, it is really a blessing for the master. Dogs play too many roles in human life, sometimes as heroic knights and sometimes as warm-hearted companions. Although the following story is not as bizarre as the first story, it is full of warmth everywhere. In the picture, a lovely baby is lying in bed, looking at those dripping eyes, full of curiosity about the world. The most surprising thing is that there is a huge dog lying beside her. Compared with the size of the two guys, the baby's body is not even as big as the dog's head. Arguably, the average family should not dare to let such a giant dog accompany the baby, but these two guys are very harmonious. The dog seems to like the baby very much. Although the baby keeps barking, 
he doesn't feel impatient at all. Instead, he patiently accompanies the baby and rubs his head against the baby from time to time. Such a baby, even adults are afraid to touch him, but this dog is very skilled and gentle, and its soft hair gives people a full sense of security. Presumably, this is why the parents of the baby can let the dog accompany the baby. It is just like guarding its own children, guarding the baby, and with its gentle companionship, the baby gradually becomes quiet. Such a person and a dog look at each other from time to time, looking like the years are quiet. The dog seems to be saying, baby, you must grow up healthily. Then the dog kissed the baby gently, as if to reward him. Accompanied by the dog's gentleness, the baby finally stopped noisy and entered a sweet dream, and everyone in the family was stunned by this scene. And this beautiful scene is staged every day in this family. Later, without the dog's company, the baby doesn't even want to sleep. As time goes by, the baby grows up and can crawl on the ground, but it seems that it is difficult for her to master the essentials of crawling. At this time, the dog goes online again and demonstrates how to crawl for the baby. All the adults at home are amazed by their interaction. When the baby begins to learn to walk, the dog acts as a crutch for the baby to move forward. As long as the baby steps forward bravely, he can always guard her by her side. Therefore, in the process of baby growth, due to the company of dogs, almost no injuries. On one occasion, the baby didn't see the dog after getting up, and cried in a hurry, even unwilling to eat rice. As a last resort, mom and dad had to tell her that the dog was taken for a walk by grandpa, but the baby insisted on waiting for the dog to come back before eating. When the dog came back, the baby rushed up happily and hugged his neck. For her, the presence of dogs is so unique that they spend almost 24 hours together. Accompanied by dogs, babies will grow into gentle people, and I believe they will create more warm stories in the future. In fact, dogs have a high status in the hearts of human beings since ancient times, and dogs can be seen everywhere, whether they are princes or ordinary people. This status is created by the efforts of dogs for many years, and of course, human care for dogs is indispensable. The friendship between man and animals is formed in this way. The love of animals is great, even if they can't speak, even if they have racial differences, love is regardless of each other and in no particular order. Whether it is family-like love or precious friendship, people have to sigh that animals' love for human beings has already exceeded any reality, and these loves turn into a silk and are tightly intertwined with people. Okay, that's all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to likes and comments if you like them. We will continue to bring you more touching stories about animals, so I'll see you next time.